So when I came over here, he said, I want to have the perfect lawn because I get to start from scratch. And I was like, man, that's awesome. Because that's what every lawn enthusiast probably wants. In our LT Turf series, we kind of found out that people would be pretty happy if their entire lawn full of grass was stolen and they got to start from scratch. So he's doing it right, making sure that it's perfectly flat and level so that when he puts down the sod, it'll be nice. We'll, we'll probably have to come with sand, I guess, and fill in the gaps just in between the rolls of sod. But otherwise, shouldn't have to do a whole lot uh, as far as sand leveling goes once the sod's in. Eh? Aye. Aye. The really nice thing about doing this leveling project and leveling it off with these is uh, I'm also aerating my lawn at the same time. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of The Lawn Tools. In this special podcast-style episode, I have a special guest with me today. I am honored to have the Sultan of Sod, the Gestapo of Grass, the Leprechaun of Leveling, Left Tool! Wow. Wow. What an introduction. Wow. Well-deserved. Well-deserved. Really? Well, hey. Thanks for having me. This is great. Thanks What's for uh here. yeah, this is this is a great setup you got in here. What uh where'd you get all this memorabilia and is that an autograph? Oh that no, that is a, a coffee stain. Oh. Well, it looks authentic. Well, you know, I I try. I guess it could be an authentic coffee stain. That's true, yeah. Is there a story it behind how who? it got there? No. Oh. Just kind of random it's spill. Just, yeah, it's just there. Don't worry oh. about it. Alright. I thought it could have been an interesting story there, but I guess not. Nope. Oh, interesting story. Huh. Oh, anyway. So what? Uh, what? Uh, what's going on here in this video? Wait, yeah. that's us! Oh, hey, look. Hey, how did you rope that guy into coming and helping you out? Oh, well, that guy? Well, he's not able to work right now. He really yeah, well, didn't have much anything else better to do, so... That's true, that's true. So, what's going on? Let's let's hear about what your little project is here. Uh, yeah, I, wanna, I wanted to make a level front lawn. So, uh... That's nice what's going and flat. On. The flattest yard in the neighborhood. Flat, well, flat, I don't know if you'd call it flat. Sloping. True. Level. Because flat, yeah, I would say there wasn't a yeah, slope. Yeah, flat, yeah, flat would be, I guess, wrongly described. Whoa, 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 where's the... <laughs> and there's dirt, yeah. It's falling from the sky there. Yeah. Um, so, but flat, no, okay, so level is what we're going with, because it's sloping from the house down to the, down to the sidewalk. Yeah. Yes. Um, wait, go back though. We we were kind of talking just the intro when we were working on that little section. What, what was oh, going yeah, on? Oh yeah, there? yeah, yeah. There on the left, you can see it's kind of that brown. I put a bunch of dirt in there. That's a little flower bed, uh, kind of in a I don't know, a little triangular shape. But I'm gonna have a little flower bed there, and then between that and the house, I'm gonna have like a rock path going down. So my uh, my little oh, I'm gonna have it basically the grass. You know what? Stay tuned. I don't want to give away any spoilers <laughs> for the viewer out there. Yeah, okay. You, you just gotcha. need to stay tuned yeah. and see what happens You'll over there. You'll see. You'll see. Oh, uh, what are you, what are you drinking there? Oh, this, uh, this is, uh, this is Super Juice. Super Juice? Ah, yeah, Super Juice. Um, too much of this stuff will turn your chest hair green. Wow. Um, so what, that. tell me about the strings over here. This whole setup with the, you got stakes in the ground with strings? Yeah, so I, uh... I put some stakes and strings on my lawn. Oh, and that's it. No, I, yeah, I guess I could explain that, but uh, but pretty much I knew I knew where I wanted the top of my lawn, and I knew where I wanted the bottom, so I put some stakes into those spots. I put a string in a straight line, and I put it five inches above where I needed it. Okay. So that way, when I pulled the string tight, I just measured down from the string five inches all the way. At five inches, that way I can get my rake underneath it. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So I have sense. So you just kind of like measure and pull and push dirt wherever you need it to, to make it nice and level, not flat. Right, not flat because it is sloping. Um, but where did I go? I'm I'm not present. Uh, yeah, you or some, there's like a ghost in the rocking chair oh, back there. <laughs> the thing is, yeah, every once in a while just kind of taking off. I don't it? know where you are. Um, I don't know. How'd you, yeah, you got out of helping I me, know. I guess. It's well, just me. 
I'm going at it, by the way, man. I'm a worker. It was hot that day, I think. I don't really remember. When we, this was actually, this was recorded like a week ago. Was it only? A, well, oh, yeah, no, sure. I think it was a like over a week ago, though. Yeah, week a little over a week ago. Yeah, we're a little slow on uh, getting these videos we put are. together. A week and a half, and then uh, the next episode of this is probably going to come later this week. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stay tuned because, uh, well, the reason I'm doing this whole thing is so that I could put sod down and so that the sod would look really nice and I, you know, I don't have to worry about leveling it as much Which, once I put it down. right tool speaking here, um, I am super jealous of how f- level, not flat, how Wait, do level. I need to tell them that I'm left tool speaking here? Uh, every time you need to announce. So every time I cut, oh, sorry, left tool here, every <laughs> time I come in, I gotta announce me. I guess I really don't know how similar we sound, uh, just They won't even know, it could just... That could just be me talking in different it's just, dialects. Yeah, you talking to yourself. And there's, oh, there's, hey, there's Mrs. Left Tool. How's a married life going, by oh, the way? Oh, married life is going just super. Yeah. And we are still married. We are still, okay, so how long yeah. has it been? What, two uh, weeks? Three oh, we're, weeks? yeah, it's felt like five years. Five years. Okay. I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> felt like five minutes underwater. But Nah, she's a good gal. <laughs> she actually she actually did help a lot with all this yard stuff. We just did some plants yesterday, now two days ago. And uh yeah, so she she likes the yard work. That's Getting good. Yeah, she helped with sod too. She did help with sod. Yeah, and she got Yeah, like, stay tuned. You'll see in the next true. video. I'm spoiling too much, aren't I? Yeah, quit talking about the sod. We're talking about dirt <laughs> leveling. We're talking here. about leveling the yard. No, oh, back to it. Yeah, so this is right tool talking again. Um, hey, look, there I am. Uh, so I'm jealous of how flat we made his front yard. I didn't know how much I wanted to care when my house was built. When, when the builder put the saw down on my yard, I wish I would have cared as much as I did. Even, what was it, like a few months later that we started the YouTube channel? I think it was. It was only a few months later. And then I was like, oh, man, all of a sudden I was a little bit upset that I didn't have the perfect type of Bermuda grass and the perfectly flat yard. Um, But it was okay because that made a lot more content, a lot more opportunities for videos uh, afterwards when I was trying to fix it because I did my leveling project with sand. We will still probably have to level the front yard with sand because in between sod, you know, there's little cracks. And so you have to fill those cracks with sand or I guess you could do it with dirt and um, make it flat so there aren't little ridges. But, But the front yard here should be really 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 close it's pretty darn close yeah i mean it's it's awesome it already actually looks great uh, i can look out the window right now and every time i drive spoilers by, ahead the yard does look good it does look yeah. good that is yeah. a, that's a spoiler it took some time uh i was able you know it was all about staying patient that's a, a good lesson for all you out there stay patient but i gotta be honest it wasn't really about patience i was just i procrastinated long enough <laughs> to where you know finally wasn't able to really go out and do anything, so I'm kind of stuck at home, and I'm like, hey, why not go outside and just rake this thing to a perfect pitch grade? Also, my side of that story is, you know, you get a text message that says, hey, I'm getting sod in two days. We got to get out there and <laughs> rake this thing flat. Yeah, not flat. Level. Level. I got a kid. No, yeah. yeah, not no, flat. It's level. I'm it's sorry. level. I'm sorry. Moving, flowing downhill. Well, actually, yeah, we we had a lot of rain the last couple of days, and we've we've both been getting pictures from friends' yards that uh, are talking about like, oh, I need to do a leveling project. They've got like ponds in their backyards. Yeah, my one buddy. I just told him that he already has a swimming pool because it's a huge. Which I think it was from an above ground swimming pool from the previous owners, and it put a huge dip in his yard, and he has a in-ground pool now um, well, hey, it's not bad uh, well, but I, I will i will well hopefully not have that problem here no no way no that no like i said i'm, I'm super jealous of how f- level it is and also the grass are we gonna spoil we're not gonna say what type of grass yet what are you gonna say hmm. let's it, hold, let's hold off on that we'll hold off can on we the, tell them what uh, i already said bermuda but we'll, oh, we'll hold okay. off on the variety i'll give you I, I bet I bet if, if they guessed thirty times, they'd get it on the next one. Because there are there thirty one types of Bermuda sod. Well, I don't know if there's different types of Tahomas, but 
You know, it might be. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Yeah, don't spoil it. Oh, yeah, no. You won't know. <laughs> you um, can't get it from that. So, let's see. What all do we... We raked it all out. There were some rocks across the... We're, we live in northwest Arkansas. And uh, we live in a lot of rocks. It's basically, we do not have much dirt. Yeah, what everything is, is rock. And so, we raked the rocks off the top. Um, actually, this, so, raking this was, a, was actually a little bit easier. Because, actually, we already did some dirt work i think we did two rounds of dirt work actually yeah. when i after i first moved in we did a round of dirt work and we put dirt all over the place i let that sit and get rained on a ton quite a bit of it washed out um so then i did more and we thought we were ready for sod at that point but since it was early spring uh i wasn't getting sod you know nothing, bermuda wasn't really growing over the winter so they, i just had to wait until it was a bit they weren't warmer. cutting it right they weren't cutting it. Yeah. Well, they weren't cut. So it was wet for one thing. I waited for a long time because of a lot of the rain. And then, uh, and then yeah, it was cold, so it wasn't really growing. So, I mean, excuse after excuse. Yeah, yeah we can come up with lots uh, of them. But here we are. <laughs> and the, I, I, you know, you all are seeing us do a lot of work on this dirt. But I promise, there, I, can, I can see. I'm, we're actually in my study. And I can see out the window. There is still grass out there. Yeah. So the rocks did not... But no, we got rid of... I feel like most, if not all, of the rocks. I, wait, I feel like that? I started rambling. Yeah. I don't know what... So, rambling. okay, yeah. <laughs> I started that whole thing because I was going to mention... Yeah, normally our soil does not... Like, that actually looks pretty good right there. But you can see to the right, it's like the top layer is all rocks. That's what the whole backyard looks like. The back was awful. The back was just tons of rock. like i don't even know what our soil to rock uh, <laughs> ratio. ratio is in arkansas but it's awful it's terrible yeah and well, in, and brick brick to rock to soil ratio around the house too which is pretty pretty rough. which is a whole different conversation when i i think i talked about bricks in one of my episodes that i did about my yard and everybody had you know people who are commenting on that video just going oh yeah when i got when i cleaned up the the grass or the ground after my house was built i found all these bricks and blah 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 and all these builders don't care but i think it's surprising if you think about that how many bricks and cinder blocks and rocks are laying around when they lay sod on most spec houses and the grass grows oh yeah if it's yeah if you got bermuda i mean what do you need like, bermuda, you need like an inch of dirt maybe yeah bermuda don't care if even alpha grass Oh, it's the best. Yeah. You know, we here at the Lawn Tools Organization are proud to give you a channel that is fun, comforting, and knowledgeable for all in our lawn care family. But with this in mind, we understand that these are tough times, and in times like these, we know that you all want to be confident in the products you are using. That is why we are proud to have sponsoring this podcast, Carl's Rectal Thermometers. If you're like me, you have sometimes doubted the accuracy and reliability of your home thermometer. Well, not anymore. With Carl's, I never have to feel the painful burden of worrying if my temperature reading is faulty. And it's simple. I'm getting an evaluation as I'm talking to you. So give Carl's a call, but remember to use the promo code LAWNTOOLS for an additional 20% off your next rectal thermometers. Remember, the next time you're feeling uncomfortable, reach for a Carl's. Welcome back, everyone. Did you have a good bathroom break there, Left Tools? Oh, uh, magical. Magical. Well... Let's talk about, speaking of flow and water flow, uh, what's this thing hanging down from your uh, gutter over here? Oh, can you see that? Yeah, that little sil silver lining. Yeah, those of you with 4K TVs, 90-inch uh, can probably see that, but there on the left side of my porch is a chain drain, and it's going into the mouth of that clay fish. <laughs> and, and then where? Well, down there on the bottom left is a pop-up drain. Uh, I did I did a pop up drain video before. That's on the other side of the driveway. That's on the other side of the driveway. Yeah. So this is another pop up drain I did coming out of that chain drain. Uh, I am working on the chain drain video, um, but uh, I so I'm trying to figure out how to end my chain drain video because I had I got a I got had a little complications with the chain drain because it doesn't catch like all the water. So I was trying to figure out how to correct that and how, you know, what, what I wanted to put at the end of the video, like, you know, if I'm just putting it up there and whatever, or if I'm trying to explain how you should do it right. But honestly, I don't know. I think that's just how chain drains like that work. Like, I mean, if it's windy, obviously it's going to blow some water around. So if you're going to have a chain drain, you just got to know, 
you're going to lose some water off of it. I think you're doing pretty well. The video you it sent catches me, a lot. Yeah, you were catching like ninety five percent. Yeah, it stormed. It stormed pretty hard last night, and it caught. Yeah, it was catching a lot. But then I went back out after I sent you that video, and it was a bit windy, and it was it it, okay. it was pretty rough. Hmm. But so, so I mean, in progress on the. I mean, you know, during a really heavy thunderstorm, I mean, rain's gonna go wherever. I don't know. I think it's good enough, and it looks. I think it looks pretty cool. So. Yeah, no, it looks good. Um, there was something else I was going to talk about on the chain drain, and now I've already forgotten. Oh, I, I was going to just say that I'm jealous of his in-ground drains to the pop-ups because uh, right now I want to do. I've talked about this for I think a year. Um, that I want to do a French drain in my backyard. I've gone back and forth on whether just doing a trench. Right now, I've just got a trench, and it stays really marshy, and it's really annoying. So I'm thinking what I want to do is dig out that entire, what, edge? I don't know what to call it. Like that marsh all the way around my yard in the back. you got a river. A river in my you yard. you got a creek. And turn it into a French drain. So put like two of the corrugated pipes with the holes in it, you know, and, the, and gravel. Do that all the way down. But then also dig trenches... Um, with drain pipes from my downspouts and connect them to that French drain. Uh, yeah, which you helped me with my uh, little drains here. And I was planning on doing French-style drain when I started. Once oh, well. I started digging, I was like, I'm not going to go down, because I, I think you need to go down like 18 inches-ish if you're going to do a French drain. I think you're good, though. Like, Oh, no, no, mine's good because I don't have that much water and yeah. nothing's, it's just coming from the roof and right. going, I need to go out. But, uh, you know, it, it's just so hard to dig. So we, we for years, we got to get like a rent a, a little uh, buggy, maybe a little I'll scoopy, get, uh, a scoopy. Yeah, one of those little scoopy machines. A scoopski. Yeah, we got to get a scoopski. A scoopski. Maybe we'll get it's his turf and Kevin to come over here with some big old uh, excavator equipment or something and make a video with us on building a French drain. Oh, Kevin, yeah, he'd Blake be... and Kevin from It's His Turf and Fall River. Yeah, you know those guys from Hot Springs? Oh, do I? Yeah. Well, yeah Blake and Kevin. Are... They've got all the fun toys, I tell you. Ugh, jealous. So now, hey, what's this thing called, by the way? Coven Carlson calls this the... Uh, Coven's Hell Strip. Hell well, strip. no, this is actually my Hell Strip. This but... is, yeah, this is Love Tool's Hell Strip. Did Coven coin that? I don't think I've ever heard it before. I Coven, think... you got to... Uh, what do you call it? TM. That? TM that. Yeah, registered trademark. <laughs> TM. The, the Coven Carlson, the Hell Strip. The Hell Strip. Yeah, so my Hell Strip's gonna, gonna also look pretty awesome. Gonna be nice and level. Well, the Hell Strip will actually be pretty flat. Pretty flat, too, yeah. I think there's a little bit of slope, though. Didn't we... It slopes from the sidewalk to the road. It does a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is good, because the yeah. water will drain off of there. Um, yeah. No, I think it's gonna be great all the way around. Basically, your entire front yard. Ah, uh, we didn't get too much into this, and... Another spoiler for the sod video, but the backyard we got a little bit lazy. I don't know how much of that will be shown. The backyard, yeah. No, the backyard, guys, I did not go all out. And like we said already, Bermuda doesn't need that much to grow. And so I really did not worry about raking near as many of the rocks out. We flattened it somewhat as we were laying, but it, it's definitely going to need a nice leveling project back there. And I think with, yeah, leveling the backyard, we'll do dirt Maybe you get some, you know, topsoil and put in the really low spots before we do a sand leveling because there's some spots that there's some spots that are need some pretty low. Yeah, <laughs> need some some big leveling. So we'll do um, lots more on this project, I guess, with Love Tools Lawn before we get it completely perfect. But it's fun. I'm enjoying the uh, I'm enjoying this downtime. Been been out in the yard. I didn't realize like I had that many projects to do around my house until you know I've been just out there every day and I'm like. Man, how would I have ever gotten this done? Well, I think I came up with more projects to do. That's true. I've been I've been looking for things to right. do since we've been home. But it's fun. No, yeah, it's it's the what the glass half full sort of situation here where we can't really be in public places and doing a whole lot. So, you know, I, I, one of my buddies who works at Lowe's said that this week, uh, last week I think, was like their busiest week on record, which makes sense. Everyone's at home doing yard work, trying to get outside. Getting By the way, this lady came and helped us. <laughs> Uh, she was really friendly and she was uh, paranoid. She's got the mask on. Yeah, but but she was really helpful. I'm glad that as yeah. Well, we spent a lot of time doing this right here. This was just a lot of talking. <laughs> that's but. true. Yeah. Oh. But anyway, I mean, that's pretty much that's the front yard. 
But yeah, I think we're basically ready for Sod, so I guess that kind of wraps it up. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us today, everyone. Thanks for being here, Left Tool. Thank you. Have a great one, everybody. So on the right side, it's sloping one inch for every 32 inches. On this side, it's sloping one inch for every 16 inches. And in the middle, sloping one inch for every 28 inches. So whatever I had to do with that information, I don't really know.